Our RE1735 is our latest rock drill. This was the first trial on a DL422 in the world. So the trial was instigated from some conversations with Samvic about what we could do to improve productivity in our long hole drilling. Sunrise Dam was selected as the trial site given the uh, ground conditions and the significant scope of long hole drilling we have. It's just an insert inside the flushing head, so really nice development for us. So there's less interaction between the maintenance people and a really nice improvement is the quicker and easier change out of the flushing seals in the flushing head where the entire flushing head doesn't actually have to come off this time. We've seen more accurate holes being drilled and we've seen a decrease in maintenance time changing shanks and flushing seals. Also from a safety point of view we've eliminated risk in changing flushing heads. Anecdotally we're seeing improvements in our hole accuracy from the drifter. The main goal of the trial was around productivity. It has come with some additional uh, safety benefits. And the main one that we've seen on that is the ability for the operator to change out the shank by themselves in an assisted manner. So there's less risk of heavy manual handling. We've already seen a nice uptrend in the rock tool's life. And I think that's mainly around just a lot less pressure on the drill string when drilling. The trial of the RD1735 directly involves rock tools as the rock drill itself has a massive impact on our rock tool life. And the benefits it provides is prolonging that life, number one, but also increasing the productivity we see from our rock tools. The productivity improvements we're seeing is in the order of 25% in penetration rates, which is our main primary measure for long haul drilling productivity. So really, really significant improvement. Anecdotally, we're seeing uh, significant cost savings in our overall rock tools per metre unit rates that we measure against. The drilled tube's been the main high cost item. We've increased life by 10%, which is a, a major saving for our customer, as well as shank and bits life up 6 and 7% as well, respectively. Feedback goes all the way back to Sweden, and that's why these trials at the face are, are so important. It's exciting to see where we can go with the RD1735 with the technology that's now in it and to increase the productivity of this drill to help the DL422i. There's that end-to-end -end benefit for, for Barminko and Parenti in terms of cost savings, productivity gains and maintenance benefits as well. The next stages will be to continue gathering data from the drifter. Most of the data is pointing towards this being a success. Once we clarify that, we'd ideally like to get to this being a production unit going forward for our drills.